Hey there, Tim Vath, Tim Vath Motorsports here. Uh, I'm at Cycle Specialties Performance again today. Uh, more Mafia. We have a 2022 uh, Suzuki Hayabusa here. This is one we just did a complete build uh, for a customer out of Chicago for. He uh, purchased the bike from us. Uh, and then he ordered a bunch of parts and stuff so we could do this build completely he wanted it similar to one of the other builds we did here earlier this year so uh, this bike is complete with uh, the DME swing arm and of course a Brock's full titanium uh, exhaust on there the CT Meg which really sounds good looks good uh, we also got rid of that chrome we had this wrapped in the wrap for him uh, we lowered the front end by putting these HTP handlebar set up on it which really lets you gives you the opportunity to drop to slide the fork legs up through the triple trees which lowers the front end essentially which works out really really nice um, he is a big fan of the uh, YouTube of more mafia and that's how he kind of got connected with us uh, he also has his own youtube channel so please please check out choker tv modified that's choker tv modified uh, this gentleman is a retired police officer out of the chicago area so we certainly do appreciate his service over the last 30 plus years as his career uh, went through uh, now that he's enjoying retirement he uh, always wanted a busa and he got one we also added the rear cowl to this bike I'm going to walk around the other side here to give you an idea of kind of what this looks like as well. I know it's a little bit sh shadowed here, but again, it's got all the cool looks really, really nice, which these boosts do, especially in the white and blue he got. Uh, again, the DME swing arm and chain guard, uh, fully adjustable. He's got five and a half inches of adjustment back there as necessary if he would want to. These bikes do come with a factory quick shifter. Uh, everything that way so very very cool build turned out real nice very very streetable but yeah you can still go take it to the drag strip and play with it as well that's uh you know one of the cool things about a hayabusa is that you you know they're streetable but yet you can uh you know drag race them you can roll race them i mean they're they're very versatile right behind that one we do have a new 2022 gsxr 1000 uh that another uh, guest of ours is actually gonna we're gonna be doing a build on this a little bit uh less on this one we're actually doing an exhaust the full tune um on this one it's getting sprint filter everything that way uh the guest is going to be picking this one up after it's done but i thought i'd just show it to you this gentleman is actually in the military he's a uh, sergeant in the u.s army and he will be picking this bike up here as soon as we get done with it everything is uh, all good that way we do turn them out Suzuki does have a program by the way if you guys are looking for a new Suzuki uh, for military and first responders that are active uh, they do actually have a $250 discount on the new bikes uh, but again you re retired unfortunately it, it does not uh, go with you have to actually be active in the military in order for that to be good so I uh, just wanted to let you know on that. Also, uh, a couple things I forgot to tell you about this Hayabusa. This is one of the first ones that we were actually able to tune with the Woolock uh, Racing ACU Flash and Dyno Tune. Uh, we did do this bike through several heat cycles, to kind of our break-in period uh, for this. We did that prior to putting the exhaust on and everything that way. Uh, and then after the exhaust was on, and then we got it on the dyno. And we also did the full tune. Um, actually picked up a considerable, I think almost 10 horsepower over what it was uh, just stock, which is great uh, improvement, especially just on pump gas. No, uh, we did not do a MR12 or any uh, race fuel tunes on this. Again, this is gonna be a street ridden bike, so we didn't really wanna get into that, but turned out real nice. The stance on this bike, because it is lowered in the, in the front with the HTP handlebar kit. It's also got Brock's uh, lowering links in the rear with the DME swing arm and Brock's kickstand so the bike doesn't stand up uh, too tall. You know, if you lower the bike, you definitely got to lower the kickstand or the bikes tend to tip over and we don't want to scratch a beautiful, beautiful new uh, Busa or any bike as far as that goes. So just wanted to go over a couple of the uh, 
cool new bikes that we're uh, in the process of uh, getting stuff ready here at Cycle Specialties and more Mafia. Uh, we hope to, uh, you know, do more and more builds, you know, as things very which we have been doing, uh, just not all in one video. So, uh, but this is one that was a little special to us. This one I kind of followed through from start to finish for the gentleman uh, who's getting it out of Chicago. Again, check out Choker TV Modified on YouTube. Who else? More Mafia, and obviously you found me here at Timothy Vath uh, YouTube. So uh, we'll be uh, coming back at you with uh, more videos in the future. Uh, just a couple nice bikes here. Uh, again, uh, take a look at that one now as is, uh, because first of all, that big ugly canister that the GSXR 1000s come with that is definitely going away with a nice uh, Brox exhaust system and uh, a few other goodies on this one. And uh, the boost is complete ready. He's actually coming down in a few days from Chicago to take it back to Chicago so he can start enjoying it himself. So, Tim Bath, and we're out.